Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. The immortal words of Winston Churchill as he paid tribute to the RAF pilots who, exactly 80 years ago, took on the might of the Luftwaffe and saved Britain from invasion. The last of those young men, John Hemingway, is now 101. He's told the BBC what it was like to be part of that select band. Robert Hall has his story. Um. They'd been expecting it for days, the final mass attack by Hitler's Luftwaffe ahead of an invasion. The plan was straightforward. Hundreds of bombers would target London and the southern counties, whilst fighters waited to trap the RAF and wipe it out. Exhausted young men who'd fought and watched friends die for two months scrambled back into their cockpits. No, it would be about that, uh, which was enough to turn you over and do all sorts of things. And uh, if you were fighting, you'd be pressing this button as well. John Hemingway is the last of Winston Churchill's few. Now 101, he'd already been shot down twice by September 1940. We're all in our early 20s, I was 20. We just didn't care. There was no right or wrong. The, the war was on. We were pilots. We were going to fight them all the time. Uh, not that we were brave or anything, but there was nothing else. The, the world was at war. And you couldn't go somewhere and say, I'm at peace and I don't, don't, don't fight wars. As the planes weaved in a web of smoke trails over Kent, the few relied on the many. The fitters who endured the bombing of airfields and got them back into the air. The spotters, plotters and radar operators who steered them towards their next mission. By the end of September the 15th, the tide had turned. German losses had been twice that of the RAF. The invasion would be cancelled. At dozens of airfields, the Spitfires and the Hurricanes came home. The main skill was luck. <laughs> you had to be lucky. No matter how good you were, for instance, my boss, Dickie Lee, was the best pilot I've ever seen. But um, he was shot down and killed. So he had no luck. I had bags of luck. I couldn't do that. <laughs> but here I am. <laughs> Like so many events this year, Battle of Britain Day will be a quiet affair. But this light show at the UK's first ever radar station in Norfolk is a reminder that we celebrate and remember a true team effort. Robert Hall, BBC News.